So here I am on the Zero Motorcycle stand in the biggest electric motorcycle brand featured here at Motorcycle Live showcasing their brand new DSRX adventure bike for the first time to the public. It has been very well received so I've been spending some time on the Zero stand and this has been a very popular model indeed. 225 Newton meters of torque is what you get from that 100 horsepower so that really is electrifying torque. So you've got some nice storage space in there, some uh, space to add a power tank to extend your range. That's your charging point there. It's got all the, the electronics you need. It's got uh, heated grips, cruise control, traction control. So yeah, a very good option that a lot of people have been exploring over the last uh, seven days that I've been at the show. As you can see, 180 mile city range. 85 mile open road range and 115 mile combined range. So a couple of people still saying it's not enough, um, but it certainly is getting better. You've got storage space in the Saja as well. Use a toolkit that is in the tank that opens up to a nice storage space. You can keep your charging cables, your cell phone, your wallet, your caps, your everything, really nice storage space in there. And then this also pops open on the side and you've got some extra storage space there. He has a dressed up one with all the um, accessories available from Zero Motorcycles. This is of course the spoke wheeled version. You can see you get the added extra spotlights, you get your crash protectors, the thicker, more durable foot pegs, and of course uh, the panniers and top box, and then the extended screen. I've had a lot of people come to the stand and really do compliment Zero and certainly the DSRX on the screen adjuster. Nice and thick, sturdy. There's just no Play, you, it, it really you're not going to get buffering in the wind or anything from that screen so that's been a, a very very popular model on the stand this is a, a bike that i quite enjoy this is the zero fxe so it's more your everyday commuting bike a2 license um cbt here in the uk you can do on it and it's a beautiful looking bike i really love the look of that so you're going to get about 100 miles city range out of that so for your everyday daily co commute to work and back or, or whatever that really does make a lot of sense there it is in in black also like the the shiny black color so also been a very popular model and then you get the fx version which is kind of more your your trail startup version so a bit more off-road capability there on that one this has been very popular so this is from the marley miles an event that happens here in the uk and they basically just took the uh, srf which is the naked sports bike version if that's what you want to call it threw some knobbly tires on it did a chain conversion slapped a massive sprocket on it and uh, yeah so that's been very very popular because it's still got all the dirt and just really looks cool and nice and raw and stuff so that was a nice little one once off there from zero this is then the srs so this is like the super bike sports tourer version can't really call it a super bike it's like a sports touring version as you can see very proudly once again winning the best electric bike brand uh, in the MCN Awards. I think that's a couple of years in a row now. So this has also been extremely popular. 190 Newton meters available uh, from that battery, 110 horsepower. And you're looking at about the same range, 180 mile city range, 85 open road, 115 combined. This is the little, the little S naked bike. So again, uh, CBT license, A2 license. Many people say it's the equivalent to the 125, but I mean, it's got is a lot more than what a 125 has it has 109 newton meters of torque and it's got 59 horsepower so yeah a little bit more than your standard 125 and a very interesting story with the little s bike is that kurt one of our salesmen on this on the stand here throughout the week at the show did a 5,000 mile trip around europe on one of these bikes and it cost him 18 pound and 60 pence in charging up so yeah, I've got a nice story to the little S model. Gonna walk our way around here. This is the SRF. Again, that naked sports bike that I showed you that it had the knobblies on from the Marley Mile. This is it in its standard trim. Also been very, very popular because very good looking bike. A lot of people mistaking it for the new Ducati Monster um, and a couple of other models. So this has been very, very popular. Again, same as the fared version, 190 Newton meters, 110 horsepower, there's your charging point. So certainly the batteries are getting better. This is the standard 17.3 battery. You can add the power bank, which will, or the power tank, I should say, which 
takes it up to just over 20 kilowatts of power and you can get a little bit more extended range that's of course is an added extra dsr this is like again your adventure styled kind of bike but uh nothing compared to the new big boy but again being very popular this is fully dressed with the top box and side panniers and screen and everything so another very very popular model but certainly all eyes are on the adventure bike this is a pikes peak edition again of the uh the naked sports bike the srf it's had olin's put on it's had olin's front internal so it was raced at pikes peak and then it was raced by dale robinson at the electric classic out at assen and he qualified on pole position and unfortunately the race was abandoned because um, there were some technical problems with some of the other bikes so yeah that's also something that's been grabbing the attention of the public but certainly this is the one that's grabbed all the headlines the new zero dsr x adventure bike so yeah zero motorcycles a couple of years ago they rocked up here with a van and two bikes that's all they had and now got a really exciting full range of electric motorcycles